Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you very interesting framework in Python called TK Enter. This tutorial is completely a different way of teaching, not from the basics learned by designing games. Interesting, right? Suppose if I start a lecture, this is the variable, this is a function, this is a class. It's boring for you. So I tried something interesting. I designed some games. In every game, I use different functionalities. First, I run the game, then I explain the functionality. Then it will be interesting for you, and it feels like something you are learning. So, no more discussions. Let's begin the tutorial. So, what is Python? Python is a programming language like C, C++, and Java. And Python can be used on server to create web applications. Python can be used to design desktop applications. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the desktop applications in Python. Why Python? Python is easy to learn, databases, GA programming, and scalable. Not only these advantages, by using Python, we can design and develop machine learning, deep learning, artificial intelligence algorithms. So, Python GA programming. Python provides various options for developing graphical user interface. First one, TK Enter is the basic one in Python GA programming, and these sticks are used to design GA frameworks in Python. So, in this tutorial, we are going to cover the TK Enter GA framework. So, TK Enter, the standard GA library for Python, when combined with TK Enter, provides a fast and easy way to create GA applications. So, TK Enter provides a powerful object-oriented interface to the TK GA toolkit. Creating a GA application using TK Enter is an easy task. First, import the TK Enter library in our program. Next, to create GA, we need to create window. Use whether widgets, whatever you want. For running, you should trigger main loop function. These are the basic four steps for creating a GA application in Python. And here is a basic program in Python. And the first one is for importing library and the next three steps first one is for creation window and giving title to the window and last one is giving dimensions and final step is the main loop function used to run the GA frame GA application program and here is the output in the previous slide I told about widgets so what about widgets it's nothing but a controls like buttons, labels, entry, images, text boxes. And these are sufficient for designing games. So games we will cover in this tutorial. First, tic-tac-toe, hangman, scrambling words, possible words, and fun with maths. These are the basic and very interesting games we are going to cover in this tutorial. And learning outcomes. Python introduction, GA framework in Python, complete basics of TK Inter, and designing some interesting games, and small knowledge about natural language processing. I'm using PyCharm. You can use whatever you want. And here is the code. I'll execute this code. And this is the output. And that's it for today's lesson guys. In the last, you're going to learn the new game and the easiest game, Tic Tac Toy. Thank you. If you like my video, thumbs up and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye, catch you in the next lesson.